What's up guys, it's Laura here from Code Phenom. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can actually root your Samsung Galaxy S4 device with the MF3 build from on AT&T and Verizon. So you guys can see the MF3 build right there. And this is the tutorial on how you can actually root the device, which is a little bit more difficult than people have been telling online. So this is the tutorial on how to do that exactly. So download the script file you guys can find on GalaxySForRoot.com or download AndroidROMs.com. Just download it and once that is downloaded on your computer, meanwhile, go to Google Play and install an app called the Android Terminal Emulator, which will function exactly as a terminal and let you do uh, commands right on your device. You also guys need an external SD card uh, with an adapter you guys can connect and connect to your computer. Once it's connected, you guys can right click on the device in my computer and format it using the XFAT file system. Once that is done, you guys can start the application. This is all built in right into Windows, so you don't have to download anything extra. Just right click, format, select the file system, and start it. Extract the downloaded file you guys got from download Android ROMs. Once that is extracted and that is formatted, drag and drop the file to the root of the SD card itself. Once that is done, unplug the SD card from your computer and then separate it. At the same time, you guys also want to turn off your device. I recommend doing this. You guys don't have to turn off your device to connect the SD card. Take off the case, take off the battery door, take out the battery. Then disassemble the SD card from the adapter, plug it into the phone itself, and then reassemble the phone back together with the battery door and if the case if you want, and restart the device. Once that is done, launch the terminal and you guys can use the commands that I have included at the bottom in the description so type in the first command and press enter uh, it won't really put any output just changing directories then the second app the second command is the one that will do all the rooting itself and at the end of that you actually see uh, obtain root which you'd be very happy about because your phone's rooted at this point and then type in the ending script which won't output any commands and then that'll be it so once that is done switch into Google Play again and then download an app called Super SU it's easy to find, it, it will give you control of what apps have root access and it's very nice. It's also a way to definitively tell if your phone is rooted. Um, it will ask you two ways to install it, custom uh, recovery or normal. Click on normal because you guys don't have custom recovery yet. So once that is done, it's installed its binaries, restart your device. And this shouldn't take a long time at all. Once it starts up again, you should see an Android is upgrading, which means that the effects are taking place. And once that is done, it should be no longer when you guys get to go into your phone, download Root Checker on Google Play, and check for yourself their phone is rooted. So that is how you root your Galaxy S4 on the MF3 build. Let me just show you guys device just one last time. There it is, the MF3 build. So this is a Samsung Galaxy S4 and this is how you root your S4 on AT&T Verizon. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.